she's still alive. My name is Laura Nelson. I am the current president of the Student Senate. I'm glad you're all here. Welcome to Convocation. <laughs> Whether you have no idea what's going on, or even where you are, or if you've done this so many times that you can do it in your sleep, <laughs> we're glad you're here, even if you have to be here for your class. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Freshmen, I'd like to say a word to you. Welcome, you finally made it to college. And I can well imagine that for the longest time, you've been thinking, huh, I wonder what college is going to be, I wonder what my classes are going to be like, I wonder what the sport I'm playing is going to be like. I'm wondering what my dorm room or what my roommate and what, what is college going to be like. For the longest time, you have been thinking about the future. And now, look where you are. The future is here. So congratulations. The future is happening now. So keep that in mind. I have a story for you about my freshman year. So when I was a freshman, I lived in Crosby Hall. And one day, I don't know where my roommate was, but she was gone. So I came back to my room. And I looked, and the mirrors were like nasty. I don't know what happened, but it was like, you're really gross, and like, you need to be cleaned, and Nathan and my roommate tried to scrub them off a little bit. I'm like, what happened here? So I don't know. So I went next door to my RA and suggested, do you have any like Windex or anything I could use? And so she gave me like this like, wet wipe with like glass cleaner in it. And so I'm like, thanks. And so I cleaned off the mirrors, we're good. And then a few minutes later, totally absent mindedly, I do this, and I touch my eyes, and within seconds, I don't, my eyes were on fire. We're not talking like, oh, it burns a little because I got, it's like horrible pain, and I don't know what's going on, and my eyes are swelling, and they're watering, and they're like, ah, and then my nose, like it goes to my nose, and my skin, and my face is burning, I'm like, oh my gosh, and so I run to the bathroom, and I spray water on my face, and so, which probably didn't help, and, <laughs>
these opportunities that you have that you've never had before. You've done the same kind of schooling for, what, 13 years now? Most of your whole lives, pretty much. You've done something totally different than what you're doing now. So, have you ever heard the phrase carpe diem before? It means cease the day. And I took Latin in high school for three years, so I can tell you that it is in command form. So it's not suggesting that you cease the day. It's not like, hey, go out, see, maybe if you want to make time. It's saying, go out there and cease the day. So I promise you, <laughs> and this goes for everybody, if you invest yourself, in the people here, whether that be your friends, your amazing faculty that want nothing more than to get to know you and just invest back in you. And if you invest in your campus and the activities on campus, if you invest in uh, your sport and just in what you do, Abraham Lincoln said, whatever you are, be a good one. If you invest in this place, not only will you become a better you, but this place is going to invest itself right back into you because that's what USF is about. We serve others. And we invest right back. So you will find a home here if you dive in and cease the day. Carpe <laughs> diem. <laughs> so, that freshman, I leave you with a pearl of wisdom. May you go out, may you seize every opportunity you can get, and most importantly, freshman, run for student senate. <laughs> Thank you very much.